Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan, where we are beating the game with only two soldiers. It's time for another Dark VIP mission. This time we are going to South Africa. Operation Gilded Tongue is going to start. Zirkin and Renman will be today's crew. And after we have researched the armor, I think I've forgotten something. Um, we are going to build the Icarus armor. Eight days. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Yeah, that should have uh, happened way before, and we have five um, five cores, which means which means we should have started that. Also, I'm wondering if we should get a spark for the next time that um, a low-profile mission comes around, because sparks are actually quite good at the beginning of the game. So, let's launch it. We're looking at a gatekeeper, Heavy Mech. A couple of uh, biological units, Purifier, Trooper, Officer, Viper. It's pretty easy to, uh, to deal with. Archon a bit harder. But yeah, should bring a solid mix. I think blue screen rounds is just okay. And both of them are fully equipped. You can see we now use the war uh, suit for Renman. As soon as we get the Berserker suit from the Berserk Queen, we will give it to him as um, definitely. So, as always, I expect the VIP missions to be rather difficult. That's why we're packing a good team. Make sure we're not uh, being overrun. If worst comes to worst, we're simply going to knock the VIP out and uh, run for the hills. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe we are actually trying to do that. I'm not sure. The the intel is usually quite good. But if we can sneak our way through the mission, I would sacrifice the intel for a quick mission. I want to get the, uh, the Warlock. Capture or kill the enemy VIP. Well, we are going to do exactly that. All right, ready for service. Zirkim and Renvin, dream team. Probably one of my favorite combinations. Oh, that's a long run. But we are concealed, which is good. So, Zirkim is just scouting for us. Renman is gonna join him up here. Moving out. He should be fine. They spotted us. Which I said, of course, just as we ran by a civilian. Luckily, we actually did not trigger anyone. We can restealth with uh, Renman. Okay, concealing again. Interestingly enough, no one there. It's definitely going to be a group down there. This is the one, right? Mm 
Heading to that location. Okay. I'm on it. Timing is good. We're well. We're well into um, the map, and it's just two rounds. Pretty solid. Okay, interesting. I mean, I still do not necessarily see why we wouldn't tr at least try to trigger these guys here. Why we wouldn't trigger these guys here. We have death from above. That would prompt an immediate reset. Hmm. Am I missing something? I think we're going to be fine. Let's trigger them. Percent, hundred percent, very high percentage chance to kill this guy. Let's get the vipers out of the way first. Specifically, if they are dumb enough to take um, half cover. Okay, so far so good. It has to be dead. Pass me some ammo. We're going run and gun. Yes. Reload. Yes. Rapid fire. And here we go. <laughs> oh my lord, that's brutal. I just enjoyed it too much, so Keep let's continue. Going. Here is advanced teamwork. No, 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 you know what? Chain shot, just because we're greedy. And that would be too nice if he could actually pull it off. Nah, he could. It's fine, it's all right though. We are untouchable. The Archon can't really do anything. Getting the second teamwork in. Should I use the X now? Might be a more difficult situation in the future where needed. It's still good. We're looking at a cleanup. Three Wipers down, one Archon down. The other one so severely injured that he can't really do anything. We're, we have untouchable going. We're going to go. Reload. Kill. Death from above and implacable. Right. Plus untouchable. Oh, and hair trigger. Okay. We can see why a high level assault is not to be trifled with. Like, that was actually disgusting. That was quite disgusting. What's over there? Got some advent here. Do not 
Well, luckily I saved that axe. So we're going to use it. Don't you even dare to think that it's over. It is not. Okay, we could just freeze this guy. Do we have any other targets for frostbite? No, we don't. And since it's the last intense encounter, might as well use it. That's the setup. Hmm. What are we trying to do? I think. I like to kill the heavy mech as well. So here's the plan. Throw axe. Pretty solid hit by the way. Into Reaper. Quietly. Into. Killing these sons of a bitch. Still got Reaper going. And this here should hit both of them. It's going to kill the VIP, maybe. Do we care? No, probably not. Let's go. He reanimated the VIP. And there are the reinforcements that we were all waiting for. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Let's start cleaning house. VIP down, death from above kicks in. Heavy mech down. Death from above continues to kick in. We could go chain shot down here. Just kill the officer. That's an option. Uh, the other option is dual strike, which I think we're going to do. I got him. 
I really want to go to here. If you say so. Yeah, we we got enough movement. That's great because we got the kill. Uh, this here will allow us for. This here will allow us for Blade Storm if we are standing just right on top of it. Question is, can I kill this guy with a normal shot? Certainly can't. Um, with the Gatekeeper. I would want to have the ability to attack everyone that's landing. So we put ourselves here, very aggressive move. Can't kill both of them, so we're probably going to take a shot. If I position myself here, we might be able to kill him and therefore our untouchable will be enough to okay, take okay. the one shot and ignore it. Come on, kill them. Unfortunately, the 28% of not uh, critically striking him happened. But luckily, we got a hair trigger. It's dead. It has to be dead. Out of rounds. Okay, and if they land somewhat in the middle, or even being able to hit all three of them. Surprise. Guess who's right next to you, buddies? Well, that's two out of three. Good enough for me. Wait, so I missed. And that's a solid hit plus a burning. I oh, love it. Good job, buddy. Not the blade stone. Unfortunately, a miss. And untouchable. Unmotherfucking touchable. Okay, this here is escalating quite a bit, I might say. removed looking at the shield bearer done problem solved looking at you mr. gatekeeper come on come on focus we if we would have hit him that would have been a pretty, pretty solid kill. Back online. Crit chance is a bit too low. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go, go behind here. Unfortunately, we do not have any op options to immediately kill someone. Probably should have set it up a bit better. However, if the guy moves, we're going to get another blade storm attack.
Yeah, that's going to hurt. Interestingly enough, since uh, he's burning, he can't melee attack. He's now going to try to shoot at us. Without success, he's burning, so he's going to die next turn. Reload. Let's finish him. Enemy destroyed. Nice little fifteen points of damage. No matter in which direction we're going to go, it looks as if we would be burning. Which stinks. Um, Alright, but burning is better be okay. than uh, not being able to hit at all. So, here we go. Oh my gosh, how could he miss that? That is awkwardly stupid. Kill the gatekeeper. No longer a threat. And that should have sealed the deal, to be honest. Moving out. We couldn't capture the dark VIP, but I told you, I'm willing to sacrifice the 120 intel for a good fight. And an easier mission. Okay, I'll go. And what a good fight it was. I'm on the move. Grappling. The two just have such a high destruction that? power, it's amazing. Seeing how Renman just uh, completely single-handedly killed two packs and then afterwards ran, ran into two packs again and we dispatched them and another pack came on top as, uh, as reinforcements which we then again dispatched. That was cool. I like it. Good mission. Here we go. Nice, nice. Our troops are making it look easy out there, Commander. All thanks to you. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. Low on scientists. Yeah, well, that's fine. That is all right, buddy. We're eventually getting there. It's I think month number 15 by now, so it's just a pretty dragged out game, but we're getting there. Avenger plotting new course. This will prove to be an important step forward.
Yeah. Let's do all of this the autopsies first. They seem to trigger most of the breakthroughs. Also, they are way faster. Only take two to three days. Good, an advanced scope and another focus. Not too bad. Almost done. Look at that. We're almost done. Can already fly over to the warlock. It's about to say uh, it's about time to say hello. So we got bond level two. Gosh, they were bond level one. Damn it, guys. Are you freaking kidding me? No way, they were really bond level one. Ugh. Well, I think we can still pull it off. I think we can still pull it off. So in terms of a loadout, if we're going for the grandfather, we need the mine shield. Like that's a that's almost a given. And for Robi, we're looking at the normal armor. I don't know, should we wait for the Icarus suit? I think the Icarus suit would be a really a real benefit for repositioning purpose, just to get him onto the high ground positions. We will be lacking damage a bit because we don't have blue screen rounds. But we need the mind shield against the grandfather. And maybe I would need to uh, take the Templar's um, clone right away. Just so that we can get to the end fight. I think that's probably the right way to play it. I'm not sure yet. Let's look at the ability training. Roby, we still got quite a few abilities left over. So we definitely need to have run and gun. What else could he get as uh, abilities? We could unlock uh, them, as you can see it costs 20, so it's, it's quite a lot. And we're currently having untouchable, run and gun, death from above and shredder. I mean, rapid fire is super good. That would be phenomenal. Serial wouldn't be bad either. Probably chain shot would be also really good. Ah, and rupture. I mean, rupture is also good. Hmm. I'm torn, guys. I am torn. I want to do the warlock so bad. But on the other side, I also... I am thinking like how difficult it would be and there are just a couple of things that we're currently missing. The level 3 bond which gives you a double attack, quite handy, probably not the most important part. Okay, We could get definitely a nice result here with getting rapid fire. Serial is good as well, Chain Shot is good as well, Rupture is good. Like, all of them are really good. So, before we do that though, what else could we get? Capacitator Discharger, super good, specifically if we want to clear the pack, so that's a no-brainer, we need to have it. Covering Fire, okay. 
ever vigilant. Uh, also okay. Scanning protocol. I mean, don't make get me wrong. I, I would buy every single ability of uh, the of him, off of him, because I just think they are really, really good. Question is, when can we start it? So if if we were to get another ability here, um, that would cost us a lot of points, and we would need to save up some more. But having rapid shot could make a and chain shot could make a substantial difference because he needs to be the one that is dealing the most damage to these sarcophagus. If uh, if we're not killing the tombstone fast enough, it's going to effectively be game over for us because monsters will keep respawning over and over and over again, and we don't want that. Common protocol is also not bad. I think we're going... I know that you guys will be unhappy. I can already hear that in the comments. But I think we're not ready yet. It'll take a couple more points. Getting rapid fire. Getting chain shot. Getting the Icarus suit. Getting bond 3. I'm sorry. I am truly sorry. I don't want to throw the entire run just because I would be impatient. I know it would... I maybe could pull it off, but I've never done it, so there is no way of telling whether it would work. You will find our results have exceeded expectations. And I quite frankly don't know how long it would take to actually get to this point again if I fail the entire run, because we were pretty lucky with a couple of things that fell together. So, yeah, good news. We're in for a few more missions. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. There is a new facility. Look at that. Facility number five. <sighs> Do I want to f kill the warlock and make it easier? Can I kill the warlock? Uh, I'm annoyed about my own paranoia here. I really want to do it, guys. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. <sighs> what would we be dealing with? I mean, on the other hand, if I wait too long, the Warlock will have even more hit points, so there is an advantage of killing him earlier before he gets the next training stage. So we're looking at Heavy Mech. Elite Priest, Lancer, Trooper, Andromedon will be easier if we can kill the others, Archon, Codex, Spectre. Spectre will suck, but the rest is doable and it's only 14 enemies. I think we can do it. How would we go, how would we go about the Warlock? So the Warlock himself would not be the problem. The guys that he's summoning would be the problem. But I think we're going to be fine. Just have so little damage without rapid uh, shot. Can go with death, death from above. We do have Amplify, so that would at least deal a lot of damage to the Warlock himself. Hmm. Yeah. I think we can pull it off. Avenger plotting new course. 
And if not, we're going to see him in the last mission. Alright, but that's for another day here. That is for another day, guys. Next mission is going to be a pretty intense one. Uh, it's going to be a two-part mission. So wish me luck. Yeah, it is time for the first Chosen. We're going to go for the Warlock. Alright, let's uh, get it going. Thank you so much for watching. And I need your energy in the next mission. See you very soon.